Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Word. I am Matt Sergent, the pastor of Andrew Chapel United Methodist Church in Vienna, Virginia. I want to share with you today a psalm of lament. It's a psalm ascribed to David. It is Psalm 13. Hear these words. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Did you hear this verse that says, How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? I have sorrow in my heart today. How about you? Yesterday, our nation experienced yet another mass shooting in Texas in an elementary school named Robb Elementary School. It comes right off the heels of a mass shooting that occurred in Buffalo, New York at a Topps grocery store. And also remember, about that same time, there was a shooting in a Taiwanese congregation. It seems like violence is all around us. And so we, with the psalmist, sometimes say these words, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? You know, if you study this psalm, each successive verse gets more and more desperate, and the complaint gets more and more real. And I think that's okay. If the psalmist can say, how long, O Lord, and pour out his soul, so can we. We too can say, how long? How long will this violence go on? But here's the thing. It transitions. This psalm of lament turns into this. In verse 5, it says, but I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. The psalmist always remembered that God is indeed with him. And God is indeed, friends, with us. Even though this violence is all around us. I was looking on Facebook yesterday at all the many posts about that tragic, tragic shooting at the elementary school in Texas. And one of my friends, Keena Willingham, posted something like this. She was asking, it seems like we're dealing with a modern-day Goliath with all this violence. How true. We're dealing with a modern-day Goliath with all this violence that is happening in our nation and, yes, around the world. I mean, there's a war in Ukraine. It's awful, isn't it? And so we say with the psalmist, How long, O Lord? But you know, Goliath was defeated by King David when he was just a boy with one shot. And I believe, too, that even today, there is an antidote to all of this violence. Not that it will all disappear, but that antidote, or that one shot, if you will, is believing and trusting in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus, who brings mercy and justice and love and peace into the world. Let the church say amen to Jesus Christ. May the church go beyond the church walls, out into the world, and share the gospel message.
that there is a dan there is indeed an antidote to this violence, and it's trusting in our Lord and Savior, trusting in His mercy, trusting in His justice, trusting in His peace, and trusting in His love. Oh, my brothers and sisters, there are many people grieving today. And our hearts are heavy. Let us pray for them. But you know, while prayer is a noun, I believe it can also be a verb. Because prayer requires action. Oh, let us pray. Indeed, let us pray for what is happening in our nation and in our world. But then let us take action. Let us go beyond the church walls and share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, letting people know that there is a better way, that there is a way out of all this, and it's to trust in our Lord, the one who brings peace, the one who brings justice, the one who brings mercy and love. I'm praying for you, friends. I'm praying for what's been happening in our nation and in our world, and I hope you are too. But let us get on the road and share that gospel message beyond the church walls that there is a better way. Take care now, and God bless you.